Hi, my name is John, uh, otherwise known as Savage on Hammock Forums and also known as Savage Outdoors on YouTube. Um, I'm here today to review the Storm Crow Crow's Nest three season under quilt uh, on his website hammockgear.com. I've never had one of these before. I can't believe the box is this small. Um, I expected it to be much bigger. If you look at it on the website, hanging underneath the hammock, it always looks huge. So for it to be even to fit into a box this size, I'm already impressed. And the weight, I'm not a gram weenie. I don't have a scale, but it's light. You'll just have to trust me. Got my pocket knife here, my trusty pocket knife that I don't leave home without, but here it is. I'm gonna open up the box. got that new box smell. Here we go, time to open her up. Ooh, okay. Gotta be careful. I wanna slice into the product as I'm opening it up. Ever wanna see a grown man cry? It's not a pretty thing. There it is. Some kind of a ripstop nylon. Uh, it's got a little pull tab on the bottom, I'm assuming for ease of extraction. Um, it's very squishable so it could get smaller if need be. Wow. Bounces back wash after wash. There we go. Well made at least exterior wise of the sack itself. Shock cord lock. Opening her up here. There it is, coming out. I feel like I'm giving birth, except for all the labor pains and, and ice cream and pickles and stuff. This is the underquilt. It's huge. I'm still trying to figure out at this point how what came out of here is gonna fit me, but now that I see it, and obviously, I'm six foot tall and about 275. This is going to cover me just perfectly. I've got really broad shoulders, and so this is more than plenty. Um, as I'm holding it, I can I can see it is billowing. It's the the down in it is just increasing in volume. Um, his website states that it is 900 filled down. It's some awesome stuff. Uh, there's shock cord running down both sides on the channels. Well, stitch quality overall is uh, very good. Uh, I'm not a seamstress or any of that nature. Uh, I do sew. I've got quite a few members of my family that do sew for fun and profit. Um, very impressed. Very impressed, very good quality. Shock cord on each end uh, with a cord lock to cinch up as needed to fit for head and foot side. I can tighten this up a little as such. Uh, same on both ends. Single cord lock as two would be redundant. So good planning on that, good engineering. Each end on the short shock cord on the head end and the foot end has looks like night eyes s beaners for ease of attachment to either end uh, pretty slick good idea lightweight they're the plastic version they're not the metal version so there's not much weight there again no gram weenie no scale um, very soft I'm assuming some type of momentum type fabric. I'm, I'm not as far as fabrics knowledgeable in that area. And of course, the made by tag. Now I'm one of the lucky few who has the old made by tag. Uh, Storm Crow changed his website from the perfect trees to hammockgear.com and I have custom made by the perfect trees. So this is gonna be a collector's item and no, it's not for sale. 
thank you very much. As you can see over time, as I've been holding it here, it's, it's billed out significantly. The down has increased its volume. Um, I would definitely have to have a little work done to uh, get it back into the stuff sack. Ready to go. Storm Crow Crow's Nest three season underquilt from hammockgear.com. Underquilt in the back. Well, let's go camping. It's about time, right? Enough jad jaw jacking. Here we go. All right, here we go on the trail. Uh, I'm currently at mile marker 12, um, which means I started at mile marker 19 on seven miles in of uh, probably about a 12 mile hike. Gonna do a real world trial of hiking and then installing the crow's nest three season underquilt. Um, having my lunch here, uh, it's about, um, 11.30, almost 12 o'clock, and just having lunch, just ate a packet of Spam, mm, Spam, gotta love it, off on my maiden voyage here with testing my underquilt, and I can't wait to try it out. Well, here we are in my hammock, uh, I'm set up out in the woods, uh, place to remain nameless. I uh, got the three season under quilt set up underneath my war bonnet and it wasn't difficult. Two S beaners, one on each end on the war bonnet and I'm really liking it. Um, we'll find out tonight if I stay warm. Uh, I've never had an underquilt, so we'll find out. I'm going to get up in the middle of the night and check the temperature. Current temp right now, um, I'm going to have to check, and uh, I'll put it on the video. Um, I'd imagine it's about 85 degrees. It's muggy, and I'm in a 
um, river valley, so it's extra muggy. So we'll be filming a little bit here and there uh, as we go. I'm going to cook up supper in a little bit. Uh, I'm not starving at all. I've been hiking for most of the day, and uh, I had a good lunch, decent lunch. Spam. I love spam. On the trail, gotta love spam. Um, I've got uh, ramen noodles and dehydrated hamburger planned for supper. I had to do some adjustment on the quilt. Uh, I was getting a little bit of a cold butt. Uh, turns out that the uh, down had shifted all to one end of the quilt, and so I took it off real quick, fluffed it, kind of uh, flapped it, and uh, got the uh, down shifted more evenly distributed, and so far. No problem. So, uh, just uh, making updates as things occur as I'm going through stuff here. So, um, trying to make the most complete video I can. Just doing some more adjustments. Um, trying to slide it down so that it's as far down as I can get it. I'm trying to get the top edge of the underquilt to uh, about my shoulders. Uh, my head's going to be fine. I've got a pillow under that, so I'm not going to get cold head or neck. Um, usually a pretty warm sleeper, so I'm not too concerned about um, my legs being cold. I do have a piece of Reflectix for my feet. Uh, if I do get cold, I do have a down sleeping bag that I'm using, so that should be fine. Um, overall, uh, the, uh, the shock cord on sides um, doesn't slide conveniently but at, at the same time once I get this thing dialed in I'm not going to want it to move so I'm just kind of going through and, and just experiencing things at a time at one at a time and, and so far you know I'm not disappointed um, I'm really excited about looking forward to tonight uh, to see how things uh, go by as far as temperature wise it's supposed to get down to about the mid 60s so we'll see Alright guys, it's quarter to two in the morning. Uh, temperature is currently 71 degrees. I am fully comfortable. Um, I've had no CBS. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, CBS is cold butt uh, syndrome. And so I'm very happy with the underquilt and uh, definitely satisfied with my decision to get one. Um, I'm going back to bed, guys. Thanks. Well, just a quick video before I launch out. I've got a bushwhack down out of the woods. Um, it's lots of berry bushes and whatnot, thorns, and all kinds of excitement to dig through. So this will be kind of an exciting. I got about 100 yards to go before I can get back on the trail. So just give you a quick overview of what I'm seeing. I have to hike back through this before I can go home. And that's the way I'm going. 